Hello, my front porch art friends. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make your recycled ornaments that came in your December kit. In your kit, you'll have four ornaments, some string, a little bit of glue in a pot that's labeled glue. <clears throat> you'll use your paint strip. I'm using these, they look a little bit different than what you get. And um, you have a bunch of different colors to choose from. I suggest that you put down a piece of paper on your work service or a tray. I keep reusing this piece of paper that came in a package and when it dries I just fold it up and put it away with my paint supplies. So you might want to do something like that to keep your work area a little bit neater. I'm going to start with the stocking. So I like to go with traditional colors but you are the artist and you can do whatever you like and so you will take either using your brush or a dauber <coughs> The brush actually came in your kit and so you will brush on whatever color you want and there's a little line on the stocking and you can do red below or you can do red over the whole thing and then since I'm working on this surface I'm just going to turn it over and do the back side and you can see some printing on there that was on that looks like an Amazon box no big surprise and um, you can cover that up the paint probably won't cover it but I like that because I kind of like the recycled look peeking through and then put that aside and then move on to a different um, uh, thing to decorate. This one is fun, this ornament, because it has a squiggly line on it. And I'll show you something fun you can do with your rickrack that came in your kit with that. I'm not going to take the time to wash my brush and switch colors. You can do that if you want to. Um, so these don't take very long to dry if you don't put very much paint on them. So you will just paint those up. And this one, you can see the squiggly line here is um, gold and you have some gold paint and that's really fun. You'll need your skinny brush to put that on and you can do one color below, one color above. The other thing you can do is layer your colors. So let's do this. Now I don't have a little brush with me so I'm going to use the not gluey end of my Q-tip and show you something fun. And You can use your little brush and just go right over the red paint, the gold is what's called opaque. That means it's not see-through. Watercolors are translucent or see-through. Well, that got kind of blurry, but that's okay. I like that decoration. I also like to do the top of my ornament like that. So you have fun doing whatever you like. Another thing you can do is add patterns to your ornaments. If I wanted a polka dot stocking, I could just go like that with my brush or the other end of my Q-tip. In your kit, you also got some little decorations that you'll put on with your glue. So, let's say instead of the gold on this side, I wanted to put on a little bit of this. It's called rickrack. And I'm just going to put little dots of glue on the squiggly line on this. And then put this right across there. And I think that's so cute. I think we showed a picture of this on a red mitten, like this right here. So you have fun with that. Now, the, every one of your ornaments has a little hole at the top. So after they're all decorated and dried, you can get some help, or maybe you can do this yourself, and you just put the end of the yarn through, and then you can decorate your tree or a garland, or sometimes I even like to hang these from like a little doorknob in my, or a cabinet knob in my kitchen for a little decoration. Now I just put a dot of glue on my plain red mitten and I put one of the snowflakes on there. I liked that. <clears throat> now I think I might make this furry cuff on my mitten a little bit different color. So maybe I'll do a little gold just to show. You can have fun doing all different kinds of things in your kit. You can pull tools from different kits if you want to. This brush actually came with your train set. Um, you can pull it out. Just wash it when you're done so that it's all clean and ready to go with your train set when you're done. But these can be reused lots of times. So have fun with these guys. We know your projects will look great when they're done. So use all your colors and you can do a different color on each side if you want to but um, you can make a fun set of ornaments with these. And then look on your learning tips for other ideas you can use the shapes for. Have fun.